Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download DEM dataset from QJS. So, first we require a plugin for downloading the DEM datasets. So, navigate to plugins and select manage and install plugins. So, we are going to use this plugin Open Topography DEM Downloader. So, in all, search for Open Topography DEM Downloader. The result will be up. So you can see here, Open Topography DEM Downloader. This plugin download, downloads DEM from opentopography.org. So the following datasets can be downloaded. DEMs, for example, SRTM 30 meters, 90 meters, ALOS, then uh, Global Bathymetry, Copernicus Global DSM 30 meter and 90 meter, NASA DEM, Europe DTM 30 meters, and you can see some more bathymetry data are available. So you can download such uh, data from this uh, plugin, very useful. So now we just install the plugin quickly. So the plugin has been successfully installed. Now let us close it and uh, let us add a base map so that we can identify the area which we are interested in. So if you are having a shape file, it is well and good. Otherwise you can use this uh, X and Y tiles. In the browse option you can use X and Y tiles. So here a lot of uh, base map is available. I am going to choose the open topography and now you can easily navigate to any particular location which you are interested in. So I am going to choose this location for downloading the DEM dataset. Okay, right. So now let us find the tool. It will be there in raster. You can see open topography. Once again select the plugin. So here you can select the datasets, DEM datasets for example. If I want to download SRTM 30 meters, select SRTM 30 meters. In the define extent to download, click here. And if you are having a shape file, you can use uh, calculate from layer. So currently I don't have any shape file. So I am going to use use the current map canvas extent. Or if you want to customize it, you can use draw on map canvas. For example, my area of his interest is this much. So I'm going to just draw. Now you can see the extent has been selected successfully. And the next thing is that you can see enter your API key or use the existing one below. So let us see how to get this API key. So open your browser and just type in open topography and you can see open topography open topography home so i'll be sharing the link in the description you can check it out so you can find an option called as request an api key so click on request an api key so you'll be asked to uh, enter the username and password so if you don't have a username and password you can just create one so click on create new account here you can enter your email id uh, first name last name affiliation organization and put your passwords and create an account by hitting sub. So after inputting your details, you just need to accept the terms and conditions and uh, click on submit. So if you are using this data, please do cite uh, the open topography website because they are giving uh, this data sets. So now let us hit submit and you can see that uh, a mail will be sent to your email account. So from there we have to activate it. So like this, you will be getting an activation code with link in your email id so now click on it so you can see here your account has been activated so now you can log in so click on login uh, by inputting your username and password so now let us click on get an api key and once again let us click on request api key so i have got my api key over here you can do so simple so we now we are going to copy this one And we are going to paste it in the QGIS API key section. So now after doing it, if you want to save this uh, output raster, let us uh, click on save to a temporary file or you can choose a particular location. So in this case, I am going to leave it as it is. If you want to save it permanently, please do select save to file. So for example, let me choose a folder and let me save it and let us run the process. So you can see the status of downloading from here. So as you can see here, the download has been completed. Let me close it and you can find the DEM datasets. 
so it is really useful if you are looking for a particular study area particular extent very very good we don't have to waste time on mosaicing the data sets and all so you can see the dem data over here so if you want to download some other uh, a dem you can also download it same method you just need to select the data and uh, enter the api key and extend you can easily download it and uh, please to refer this uh, cite this uh, whether you are doing a research or a, uh, academic purpose just cite this open topography dem open topography so thanks for watching if you have any other doubts in this please to ask in the comment section goodbye everyone please to subscribe